Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, out here in the garage working on this in some rare daylight. So I'm actually getting some daylight time out here in the garage. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know usually I'm out here uh, 10, 11 o'clock at night when the family's gone to bed. Uh, so making really great progress. I'm gonna spin this around and show you, but I have uh, the kitchen done. No, not, not done, I, I, I really shouldn't be using that word. Uh, but I still have to do the countertop. I uh, still need to figure that out. I'm going to do a couple cabinets up here inside too. But I have the fridge connected to 12 volts for the first time. Uh, the slide out tray is working great. All the cabinets are working really well. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. I still have to get the the uh, outlet in there and the switch cover back on. Uh, that's easy enough. Maybe I can do that today too. But I'll show you up front and uh, show you all the cool stuff I have going on up uh, up front. All right, as you might notice, I have the HV lines sticking out the front finally. Uh, so I have these connected. Let's try to get in here a little tight. Um, so I finally have these connected to the battery pack. Uh, it's all wired in. And then I have this little cover that I purchased that these wires are going to just fit right through these glands. And I'm gonna uh, screw and attach this to the siding once the Thing, whole thing is wrapped in fiberglass so that's how I'm gonna bring these out into the front and then if you've seen my other videos you know I use these Anderson connectors so they'll I'll have an Anderson connector there to go to the car and then I'll pop inside and I'll show you what I have going on in the main electric box up here all right here's my front storage box that houses most of my electronics uh, and what I've been working on last night and today is the cooling system so you can you might notice compared to the other videos i added this other pump actually i just relocated it and what was happening before is i just had a pump here to push in through the battery pack through the charger and everything and then i had a pump that was here that was pulling and dumping back into the reservoir and what that was doing is creating a lot of turbulence inside the, the reservoir. And I'm really not sure how effective the pump was. Um, from what I've heard, uh, again, I'm not an engineer, but from what I've been told is the pumps are designed to push and not pull. So I thought it'd be better to add the second, or relocate again, the, the pump to here from here. So now I have two pumps in parallel that are going to be pushing into the inlet on the uh, Tesla battery. So it'll come in th into here, go all through the modules and everything, and then pop out, come out here, go through the Tesla battery uh, charger. And so then you can see it comes out and I have a drain line on the back side. So that red valve is a drain line for the rear. And I also have one on the front if you didn't see it. Then it comes back. You can see it right there, and then it comes to a T-junction here, and from there it'll either flow up and out into the radiator, or it'll continue straight on into the Tesla battery heater, and then it comes out and goes into a Tesla junction. This is a, a Tesla uh, T. It's motorized. I have that all functioning. It's working. So it'll either allow the water to flow from the radiator or from the heater, depending on uh, what is needed. So then, let's say from the heater, it's going to come out through here, and then go through this pipe here, and return right into the reservoir. And this is the return for the, uh, the cooled uh, water from the radiator. And then that would continue on and go straight to the radiator or to the reservoir, depending on what is needed. So I just got everything plumbed. Everything is tight. Um, I needed I need one more clamp here. I was just short by one, and I'll pick that up later and get everything fired up. But this should all work. And one thing that I was super super nervous about, uh, I mentioned this in a previous video, but I have this custom bracket that I made to hold the um, the coolant bracket in place. So that is the the coolant adapter that is usually bolted to the car. So when you bolt up the battery pack, that 
uh, connects the, the coolant lines to the car. Uh, so it was leaking and I had a few issues with it. It wasn't really major, but it was a little bit of a leak and which just wasn't okay. I don't want to have, <laughs> that's not okay for any road trip. So that'd be really bad. So what I did is first I tried getting some of the, um, some different kinds of caulk to put in there and try to get it to seal, but it still had like a slight, slight trickle after maybe a day or two, there'd be a little bit of a pool there. So it wasn't good enough. So I ended up buying some urethane, which is the same black stuff that they use to install windshields in cars, which is very, very permanent <laughs> in this, in this situation. So I was very nervous about using it. I thought a lot about it and I really was trying to be careful as I applied it because if I put too much on and it somehow made it into the coolant lines, it would have been pushed through the whole, all the battery modules would have created a clog and it, they would have been useless. I mean, I would have had a battery pack that I couldn't cool or heat. It was, it would have been horrible. So thankfully it didn't happen. It didn't plug. It's working great. It's not leaking anymore, but I was really, really nervous about that. I mean, after all this work I've done in this trailer, that one thing potentially could have just made this whole thing a brick and not usable. So thankfully that's done. Uh, I'm going to fill the cool reservoir now and uh, make sure there's no other leaks, but I think I'm good. Okay, I'm not getting any leaks, so that's good. I don't see anything around anywhere. Um, but I'm, this pump system still really isn't working so well. It doesn't seem like it has that great a flow. I'm looking at the return and just looking at the the pressure of that, feeling it, seeing how, how much, how fast that's moving. And it really doesn't seem like it's move moving that much so i got to do some more digging um also these are the wires that go to the pumps the two pumps and the wires were getting pretty warm as i was running the pumps and they were both i was looking at my um my monitor my battery monitor and they were pulling about seven amps total when they were both running these are 16 gauge wires and so they can take it, but the wires on the actual pump harness are tiny. They're probably like 20 gauge wires. And so I think these probably used uh, pulse width modulation in the Prius. So I'm gonna have to do some more digging and uh, figure this part out. But for now, that's where I'm at. No leaks, seems to be flowing, just want it to flow faster. All right, so I just undid the stuff that I was just showing you. Um, so the pump that was here didn't work. So it seems like there's no check valves in here. So it seems like maybe they were fighting against each other. That's part of the reason that the uh, wires were getting hot. And so they were pulling about seven amps uh, peak and it really wasn't flowing much water at all. So Instead, I took the pump out. I just put some caps on the line for now because I just wanted to test it and see how it would change. And I moved the pump over here. So now this pump is going to be pushing it into, pushing the fluid into the battery pack, comes out of the battery pack, through the Tesla charger, uh, and then out here. And then this is going to be pushing it the rest of the way. And so far, it seems to work much better. These wires are not getting hot like they were before, uh, even though I'm actually pulling more amps. So this is pulling something like 8.2 amps total with both of them running at the same time. And when it was over here, it was right around 7, 7.1 amps uh, peak, and I wasn't getting nearly the same flow. This definitely seems like uh, it's better flow just by looking at it. And, and watching it uh, return in, into the reservoir here. Another thing that was suggested is that I move this hose and have the return right down here because it would uh, give me less turbulence because as this rushes through here, goes through this 90, through that 90 and drops in, it does stir up the, the fluid a little bit and it, it can 
it does create a little bit of uh, air in, in the water and the fluid. So, yeah, so I totally just changed everything that I had just done. So far, this seems better. And people have recommended that I get the Tesla um, pumps, which I'm not opposed to. It's just when I went to my Tesla parts guy, he recommended these. And as I mentioned before, these are Prius inverter pumps. And he sold a ton of these for people in DIY projects like this. And they, they do work. Um, and I'm not opposed to getting the Tesla pumps. They are like double the, the, the money. But, I mean, I'll go with whatever works. And so far, these seem like, seem like they're, uh, they're working. So I guess that's it for in here. Uh, out here, I am working on some galley kitchen stuff. So underneath all of this is uh, I'm sandwiching wood onto foam, just like I did right here. So I have glue and that's that's all curing. And that part is actually going to be for the wall that goes right in here. It's going to be, let's see if you can see that line. Yeah, there's a line right there. It's basically going to be right on that line. So that part over there above these cabinets is going to be the countertop. And then I'm going to have another wall uh, just somewhere around here. And it's going to be like that. And there's going to be a shelf in here for just storage and clothes and stuff like that while we're camping. But uh, I guess that's about it for now. I did paint this just to match that. So you can see the backside really isn't too bad. It looks pretty good in here. Um, but that's it for this update. I have a lot going on, a lot of projects that I'm in the middle of. And as I get them done, I will uh, update some more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.